I'm sure you would certainly have heard someone getting married to a foreign national in order to get the permanent residency or citizenship. You would have also heard many people giving birth to their child in a foreign country like US, Canada, Australia, Dubai, UK, anywhere to get the permanent residency or the citizenship. Just recently, you would have seen the famous Indian vlogger Mumbaikar Nikhil, Nikhil Sharma and Shanis who came to Canada to give birth to their child and I think they are about to leave Canada very soon in the next couple of days. So in this video, we are going to talk exactly about that. What happens when you give birth to a child in Canada when you are not a permanent resident or a citizen? Maybe you are on a work permit, maybe you are on a, a tourist visa or a student visa. Would the child get the citizenship or the permanent residency and what about the parents? Would they get the permanent residency or citizenship because of their child? We will talk exactly about that in this video. Okay, so let's start with the child first. Any child who is born on the Canadian soil becomes a Canadian citizen. So that is the reason why many people actually come to Canada to give birth to their child. Uh, and this is called birth tourism. So to make their country more attractive for immigrants, some countries actually have that kind of a law that if a child is born on their soil, he or she becomes the citizen of that country. And there are not many countries which offer this birth tourism. Canada is one of them. US is the another famous country. You won't believe all the European nations, none of them actually offer birth tourism, even Australia does not offer this uh, birth tourism. Many of these countries actually have a conditional citizenship requirement that one of the parent, uh, maybe the father or the mother should be either a citizen or the permanent resident. Then only the child would become the citizen of that country. The same is in UK, same is in uh, Australia, but both US and Canada offer unconditional citizenship to any child who's born on their soil. Okay, so that was about the child, but what about the parents? Let's say you come to Canada on a work permit, um, you get married here or maybe you were married earlier and you give birth to a child in Canada. Maybe you are a student and you get married or even before getting married, if you actually get uh, give birth to a child, maybe you come to Canada as a tourist on a tourist visa, uh, maybe specifically to give birth to a child here, so will you actually become the permanent resident or the citizen? To be frank with you, before researching for this video, I used to think that there would be some privilege, some benefit that the parents would also get, but that's totally not the case. To my surprise, I found out that only the child would become the citizen. No change would happen in the visa or the status of the parents in that country, in our case, uh, US and Canada. Okay, so now when you know both about the child and the parents, the question comes that that's understandable if someone here is on a work permit and uh, they decide to give birth to a child or maybe those who are on study permit already in Canada, it sounds fine. But what about those people who travel specially to give birth to their child? Maybe just like uh, Shanice or Nikhil in our example, I don't know on what visa they, they are here in Canada, uh, but it seems that they might be here on the uh, tourist visa. Even if they are not, there are many people who actually uh, do so. So why do actually people take all that pain and that risk of traveling while the lady is pregnant? And the statistics say that most of these families actually fly back to their countries after giving the birth, so which means that they come to Canada or maybe US as well, specifically to give birth to their child. Why is that so? Of course, there are many reasons. We'll talk specifically about Canada in this video, not uh, much about US. So let's say any couple, mother and father, they are Indian citizens, hold Indian passports, they travel to Canada, give birth to their child. Now the child has the Canadian passport. So in the future, they don't have to apply for their visa. So in the future, they don't have to apply for his or her visa for many countries. And of course, many, many, many people actually want their children to go and study abroad. 
So if the child is already a Canadian citizen, he can always come to Canada and study at a very cheap prices. Many of you would already know that the tuition fees of uh, almost all the colleges and universities in Canada are almost half uh, for the permanent residents and the citizens than what an international student uh, would need to pay. And I believe that those parents who plan all these things well ahead in time do really think long distance and kudos to Nikhil and Shanice who traveled to Canada via Dubai. There were travel restrictions at that point of time. Okay, so now when we've talked about the benefits, what are the demerits of uh, giving birth to your child in Canada while you may be on a temporary resident visa, any temporary resident visa, any TRV. So just like any other major decision, this decision comes with few demerits as well. Number one, you might need to bear a lot of medical expenses. Of course, all the expenses during the childbirth for the hospitalization and the regular visits to gynees before the childbirth. Now, of course, the Canadian hospitalization medical expenses are very, very high. So if everything goes fine, then you can still plan for, uh, you know, for those expenses. But may God forbid, if something goes wrong, if the child or the mother is not well um, after delivery, then there might be expenses which you might not have accounted for. So in case you're planning, you should definitely take care of that. All those people who are here on a work permits or maybe the study permits, maybe you already have those insurance that can pay for all those ex uh, expenses. Similarly, all those people who come deliberately for the childbirth uh, on a tourist visa, you can also look for some options in the market. I'm not sure, but you might see some of these options uh, where the insurance actually covers all these medical expenses. Number two, when you're traveling here, it might be difficult for you to travel with your entire family. During a childbirth, it is very difficult for new parents to take care of their child, especially if no family member is around. So yes, that might be a challenge for many people if you're traveling on a tourist visa, especially to give uh, birth to your child, then it might be a trouble for you. So you should definitely think of that point as well. So anyways, guys, I hope that this point would be clear in your mind now. Just like I got clarity while researching for this video, I really hope that you would have got a lot of clarity after watching this video. Not just for Canada, I regularly bring videos for you to immigrate and settle abroad. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do not forget to click the subscribe button. If you have any questions, any queries, please put it down in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching this video.